Hello everyone, welcome to another video with me, Winner and Trace, picking up where we left off last time where I went ahead and started my war with Posa, considering they decided to go to war with me, and well, I kind of already wiped out Ecuador, Colombia, and Guinea, I think is how you pronounce that. Don't really, not really sure on that one. Yeah. I honestly don't know how you're actually supposed to pronounce that, but I'm going to just say Guinea. So, yeah. Also got all this in for Brazil at the moment. Peru is still not at war with me for some reason. And well, yeah. I think I'm actually going to be getting a piece with Ecuador and Colombia right now, considering I kind of want to free up the troops I currently have on my border with Peru right there. Considering they've kind of been getting hammered a bit, I will probably send all of those troops down to attack Chile instead. Get down there. And, well, over here, I think I'm going to have to stop this advance a bit, maybe. And try and get it to where I can line my troops up along that line, more or less. Try and get all that soon. So I can actually start my push south. In which I may actually see about getting a peace deal with Brazil or something right now. But that may be s later at some point. Let's see. We have 76 exams for that at the moment. Okay. I'm halfway to be able to actually do that. Okay. Sure. No, I do not want to do that. Okay. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and actually do this. There we go. And... Uh, Ecuador. There we go. And I'm... Debating on if I should actually go ahead and deal with them as well. Might as well. There we go. So, now I need to finish up everything else for this turn. And also, I am also considering an attack on Peru currently. That is another thing in my mind at the moment. Is seeing about trying to wipe out Peru quickly. But that'll probably just add on to how hard things are going to be for me. Which is not a great idea, I would say. At least not right now it isn't. I need to send those troops down there to defend that province. Right here, this group's going to have to split up. Yay. Really need things to start progressing over here when it comes to Brazil. Considering this entire area here has gotten quite low on troops, I don't really know exactly why. But to be honest, that's probably more or less because they might have actually slowly migrated over into this area, I think. Instead of staying along in this group. And saying those troops were from this area here. So yeah, got that to deal with. Um, let's see. Do I have anything else to do in this turn? Oh, yeah. I got those troops to send right there. Get off that island. Okay. Two thousand troops left in that province. Great.
I definitely need these troops to group up over here for sure. And actually, I'll start sending these troops off in this direction considering I need them to start spreading out over here. Yeah. Do that. Seriously, will they stop sending troops over here already? Jeez. Might as well send that group right there to intercept those troops from Brazil. Considering they apparently don't really use this inside area that often. Really, I just take that one province right there. Brazil has no ports. Take out um, Argentina's capital. They have no ports. Then it's the same with Chile. And all the port. There's only one port left in the entire Tia Postar at that point. Which is in Peru. But then there's also those three that I just released as vassals. Yay. So. Okay. Now that I'm thinking about it, I could actually quite easily do a sneak, do an attack on Peru now. Considering I have actually released them as vassals over here. Huh. It's gonna be nice to get Peru. Eh. Send those troops there just in case I decide it. I actually do that. And keep a few more of those troops back. There we go. I think these troops more or less are just going to cut across over here, maybe. Try and cut off any support to Peru can get. Yeah, I think I could do that. So, the rest of these troops. Yeah. I can actually just send all those into that province. I'll send that group into that one. Okay, there we go. Three provinces right along there. Good. So, yeah, can I even, yeah, I can, okay, sure, well, I now have that to deal with. So I'll definitely have to deal with that before I can actually do any kind of sneak attack on Peru. That's for sure. So, yeah. Let's deal with this right quick. here I need to continue doing this cannot really afford stopping on this side Okay. 
Okay. Really, what's my score with that now? Okay. Almost two thirds when it comes to Brazil now. Nice. Uh, and in total for this war, that's what I currently have. Okay, yeah, I can't even do anything really. Because I let off those three already. Sure. For some reason, only it will easily let me vassal one country. Demand vassalization of one country. Which is annoying. So, yeah, I got all uh, this to deal with. And that's going to be annoying to deal with as well. But I definitely think it'll probably be a good idea to actually just tap through at this point. Considering what I have to deal with. I do not need to be keeping this border here. With lined up with troops. To defend the darn bank. So yeah, I'll probably be going up to Peru very soon. So that's the end of this turn. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I cannot continue fighting this war that much longer. They have too much any troops compared to what I'm able to use in this. Considering they have molt they this is entire alliance I'm fighting by myself. For mostly it's mainly just because I do not want NATO to be over here messing around in the Americas. I do not want to be seeing the ugly borders that you're currently seeing in Middle East and Africa or here in the Americas. That is basically the one and only reason why I do not want NATO in interfering in this war. Okay, well, recruitable population. I can recruit more troops in Havana at the moment quite easily, and right there. There's some troops recruited over here in the Caribbean. There we go. Four provinces. And about 20,000 troops. That I can try and send over here as quick as possible. Considering I'm going to need them. To try and reinforce this area and to reinforce the troops side over here at sea. So yeah, gotta deal with that. Come on. Oh, 
I think they just recruited more troops in that group. Great. I have to deal with even more troops there now. Yay! Okay, there. Send those troops there, considering they seem to really like using this area. That's where basically all their troops go through, by the looks of it. Let's go ahead and start this advance over here again. Considering they seem to need other things to focus on. Okay. Do not forget about all these troops. Get them sent over here. And the last group in Puerto Rico. There we go. So, got that dealt with now. And I'll actually go ahead and send those troops right there and attack Chile. Considering as long as I can actually just cut off Peru from the rest of them, I think I shouldn't be more or less good along here, I think. Okay. Let's hope for the best on this turn. Especially over here. Okay. Sure. Sure. Yeah, they're going all out over here now, by the looks of it. Which is not good for me, considering I kind of need to secure this area.
Okay. Yeah. Really need to deal with this area. Quickly. To be honest, those troops may have to be diverted over here first before they can head over that direction. Okay, let's see how this goes. Good, I got the capital of Brazil with no resistance, which is good considering that's the only province they have that's fortified. I mean, if I attack it with troops there, I'm going to lose even more troops than what's needed. Okay, get those troops right there, I'll s actually, no, just send them all there. And that group can get go there, that group can actually just go ahead and split up in between those provinces. There we go. Now this group over here in Chile. There you go. Depending on how things go over here in this turn, it depends on if I will divert those 5,000 troops yet or not. Okay, let's see how things go. They had one troop survive in that attack. One troop. Okay, yeah, I think I got that area secure to this point. It's just to wipe out the troops that Brazil has there. Oh, Argentina is going to be a little annoying one, huh? You want to be annoying, huh, Argentina? You want attention from me? Sure. I'll give you some attention. to keep pushing over here so I can deal with all of them need to deal with that quickly considering yeah I 
don't want Brazil to be doing anything behind my front line here. There we go. Let's see, how are things going when it comes to this? Ah! I could actually just go ahead and demand vassalization of Brazil right now. Okay. Now just leave me at war three of them. Nice. I'll see how things go for a bit longer first. Considering I kind of want to make sure that I can guarantee this. Overall, in the war, what all can I do with all this? Okay. Get those provinces back, I guess. Wherever those are. Oh yeah, that's one province I have, okay. Um sure. If I take a few more I'll build also our command vassalization of Argentina. Don't wanna be too much longer before I can also get Chile and Paraguay. And vassalization of both of those as well. Okay. 140,000 troops now? Sure. Let's just go ahead and end this turn. Did not notice that they could do that. Great. So I will be... Actually, considering this, I will just go ahead and do a one more turn for this episode. Considering I don't really want this to be in the thumbnail, having that province gone for the next video. So yeah, I'll just do one more turn and finish things up here. Actually, that's the province where they sent all their troops. So that's why I want to be right there. Okay. Okay, that's all dealt with there, 
Sure. Get those troop centrates there as well. Which for some reason these troops can't actually go to that province instead. I think. Otherwise they're just going that way for some reason. Okay. Let's see how this turn goes then. Good thing I was inside to send troops to that province. Peru has almost been wiped out completely now. Nice. Also, just a sliver left of left of Brazil right there, which that is actually quite an important area for Brazil, considering the population and the economy they have right there. If they lose that, they fall quite a bit, considering that's the majority of what's left of their economy and population right there along that coast. So, yeah. How are things going in this war now? 300, huh? Yeah, I could actually demand vassalization every single one of them now if it actually let me. Three points against Argentina. I'm almost at the point where I can actually demand pacification of Chile. Nice. Paraguay. I can already do that for, of course. That's good. But it'd be better if I took over their entire country and then just released them as fast, so considering then I wouldn't have horrible relations with them anymore. Like I did with these three. Also going to have to deal with Peru eventually. Going to have to. But that'll probably be after I deal with the rest of Posar. Make sure that they're not a threat. But so that there is the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.